When using the flash, you can see the flash duration by using the flash analysis tool. You can access this through the swipe through menu or from the tools menu in the XF. If we look closer at the flash analysis tool, we can see the different features in here. First of all, at the bottom of the display, we can see the start and end of the exposure. The blue part shows the position of the flash during the exposure and a few milliseconds afterwards. This is then enlarged above. You can see the light output and the fall off on the small curve here. It is important to keep an eye on the striped area to the right, as this is where your shutter begins to close or has already closed. You want your flash to have completed before this happens. This is especially important during rear curtain flash sync. You might want to set the camera to rear curtain flash sync for any number of reasons. You can do this by clicking the bottom silver button, going to capture setup, and then to the flash curtain options. Here we can set rear or front for flash sync. We can also trim the rear curtain in case the flash overlaps with the striped area. Adjusting the rear curtain flash sync will move the flash timing within the exposure. Please note that the front curtain cannot be trimmed. Finally, we have the flash analysis pop-up. We can have this pop up after every shot if you're using this regularly. You can do this by going to Menu, UI Setup, Capture Pop Up. Here we can see which information we would like to appear after every shot and how long it stays on the screen for. 